Hey YouTube, it's me, Kat. Did you hear what's going on with Starbucks? Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, started a brand new campaign called Race Together. The idea is to have baristas start conversations with their customers about race. Hi ladies, do you have five minutes to talk to me about Starbucks? It's pretty difficult to get someone to stop and talk to me for five minutes on the street. I can't imagine how people are gonna talk to their barista about such a complex issue like race. Let's hear what you have to say. I don't think it's a good idea, especially for the employees, because the employees might see something wrong and somebody might take offense to it. In order to engage about race, you have to talk about it. It's not just for business, it has to be like in your private time. People are not going to get personal with a barista. I think it's kind of inappropriate if you're going to just buy a coffee or a snack and you suddenly are in this heated debate over something that could be offensive to some without even realizing it. I guess that's good in a good way because it, it keeps racism away, you know, it builds more awareness of racism. If you get a barista, that's maybe more progressive or helps those understand then I guess it'd be good but if you were to talk to someone who's a little bit more like close-minded it wouldn't be as beneficial for the overall public. To go get a, a cup of coffee we have to talk about race this is getting out of control now. Come on Starbucks I mean no honestly it's probably a good idea but I think it's a bit over the edge. Do you think that we can have an effective conversation about race in the time that it takes to wait for your caramel mochiato? No. There's never enough time. No, because they're usually very busy, actually. No, that's something very sensitive. It, it's something that's going to probably, it could go on for hours, actually. It's not something in a couple, you can talk about it in a couple of minutes. And probably while I'm waiting for my coffee, I don't want to have to hear about it because I know about it, but it probably might help those that ignore it and take advantage of it, the lucky ones, the white ones. We can say why, we can say why people. People who have the privilege to ignore racism and these types of issues. Do you think that it's fair to put this pressure or the burden on uh, the employees of Starbucks? Especially knowing that 40% of Starbucks employees are people of color. This is a tough conversation. Um, yeah, do you want to have this tough conversation while you're waiting for your drink? You're going to put these people, these workers in a position to ask this kind of question to somebody. And depending how that person, how their day is going, you know, it can get really bad real quick. Starbucks actually joined together with USA Today to produce this little newspaper in order to help folks have these conversations. They have a couple of questions that they believe would help individuals curate these conversations about race. I would like you to read a couple of these questions. I have blank friends of a different race. Wow. That's the same as I have a black friend. I feel like only a person that's racist would even think of saying something like that. In the past year, someone of a different race has been in my home a blank number of times. That, what? I Nobody's ever asked me that in my life. I will never ask somebody that in general. No one really counts how many friends they have of a different race. In the past year, I have eaten a meal with someone of a different race blank times. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, it shouldn't be something you're taking a tally mark or account of. This might offend, you know, a, a couple of people. Do you have anything you want to tell Starbucks? It doesn't feel like it's gonna work for the better. It just seems like, let's just point out the obvious, like what people have issues with. Maybe the intention is good, like bringing race into conversation. People believe we're integrated perfectly, when in reality, there's still very much systems that keep us separate. So perhaps what we should be doing is talking about systemic racism in order to make a difference. I totally agree. I think systemic racism is like the point we need to drive home. Thanks for watching. You heard what people on the street had to say. Now I'm curious, what do you think about the Starbucks Race Together campaign? Leave a comment down below. Bye.